Meanwhile, China is working on a mega constellation of satellites. 60 satellites launch into space. China could launch 13,000 satellites. In the past few years, many countries around the world have been adopting Starlink. The revolutionary service provides fast, reliable, and affordable internet access worldwide using a constellation of over 10,000 satellites in orbit. However, not everyone is happy about this technological breakthrough. China, for instance, has its own version of the internet that is heavily censored. They do this to control what their population can see. However, Starlink, being global, gives Chinese citizens easy access to the global free internet where they can watch anything, including this video. But this is just the start. As Starlink orbits above the country, the CCP has become increasingly worried about it being used to spy on China. So what is China trying to do? Can it really suppress satellites? Join us as we discuss China's mission to suppress Starlink satellites. Mongolia has recently made a decision that could have significant implications for its relations with China, its powerful neighbor and largest trading partner. On July 6, 2023, the Communications Regulatory Commission of Mongolia granted special licenses to SpaceX, allowing them to operate low-orbit satellites for the internet provision through Starlink in Mongolia. This decision was unveiled as part of Mongolia's ongoing digital transformation efforts and its new recovery policy which seeks to boost the country's economic growth and social development after the COVID-19 pandemic. It was made public before the Mongolian Economic Forum 2023, which took place on July 9th and 10th and featured prominent speakers from various sectors, including Musk himself. The Minister for Digital Development and Communications, Atrul Nayamosor, said, a network of fiber optic cables already provides wide-reaching access to high-speed internet across Mongolia. But Starlink's technology will provide greater access to hard-to-reach areas of the country. Herders, farmers, businesses, and miners living and working across our vast country will be able to access and use information from all over the world to improve their lives, the minister said. However, Mongolia's choice to embrace Starlink is causing security concerns in China, which shares a long border with Mongolia and has a history of political and cultural influence over the country. These concerns revolve around two main issues, potential military implications and the possibility of evading China's strict online censorship rules targeting foreign websites deemed harmful. On the one hand, China fears that Starlink could give Mongolia an edge in military communications and intelligence, as well as pose a threat to China's own satellite network and space ambitions. On the other hand, China worries that Starlink could enable Mongolians to access the uncensored internet and bypass China's Great Firewall, which blocks and filters content that is considered politically sensitive, socially harmful, or culturally inappropriate by the Chinese authorities. China has been tightening its control over the internet in recent years, cracking down on dissenting voices, online activism, and foreign influence. China also has a stake in Mongolia's internet infrastructure as it provides fiber optic cables and 4G services to the country through state-owned companies. China does not want to see Mongolia become more independent and open in its information and communication as that could undermine China's interest and influence in the region. So now, Chinese military researchers have recently expressed their urgency and determination to build a national satellite network project that can rival SpaceX's Starlink, which is a constellation of thousands of satellites that provide high-speed internet access to anywhere on Earth. China's motivation for this project is driven by its perception of Starlink as a significant national security risk, especially after it witnessed how Starlink's communication technology was used effectively by the Ukrainian forces during the conflict with Russia. 
Recent Chinese research papers and insiders familiar with the program reveal that China has plans to establish a national mega constellation of nearly 13,000 low orbit satellites, which would cover the whole globe and provide various services, such as broadband internet, navigation, remote sensing, and emergency communications. This project is often referred to as GW, or Guaweng in China's satellite industry, which translates to state network. It is a state-supported initiative that started gaining traction in 2021 as a competitor to civilian internet satellite networks in the United States and elsewhere, such as Starlink, OneWeb, and Amazon's Kuiper. However, Chinese researchers have voiced public and private concerns in recent months that this project is falling significantly behind Starlink and should be expedited, particularly after SpaceX's communication technology demonstrated its resilience during practical tests in Ukraine. Starlink has already launched more than 2,000 satellites into orbit and has plans to launch up to 42,000 satellites in the future. Starlink has also been providing internet services to customers in several countries, including the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and parts of Europe. Starlink has also been involved in some military and humanitarian projects, such as providing internet access to remote areas, disaster zones, and military bases. One of the most notable examples of Starlink's application was in Ukraine, where it was used by the Ukrainian forces to communicate and coordinate during the conflict with Russia, which erupted in late 2022 and early 2023. Starlink's internet service proved to be reliable and secure, even when Russia jammed and disrupted other communication channels and networks. Starlink also enabled the Ukrainian forces to share real-time information and data, such as satellite imagery, drone footage, and battlefield intelligence with their allies, such as the United States and NATO. The Starlink constellation has finally shown its military colors in a Russian-Ukraine conflict, said one Beijing academic familiar with the Chinese project. The focus now is to accelerate the development of China's own constellation and explore defensive measures against Starlink-type foreign satellites, said the person who spoke on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the matter. Elon Musk has, however, come out to say that Starlink wasn't built for military use. He confirmed that he, in essence, scuttled a Ukrainian military strike on Russia by refusing to allow Starlink to be used in the process. The billionaire claims the decision was made to avoid being complicit in a major act of war, but it also raises serious questions regarding the role of oligarchs in military matters. Chinese apprehensions surrounding the implications of Starlink for national National security are happening within the context of an intensifying space race between Beijing and Washington. Both nations have been allocating substantial resources toward advancing their capabilities in cutting-edge defense technologies and exploration missions. These endeavors encompass not only the race to reach Mars, but also a broader competition in space technology and dominance. Large-scale, low-Earth internet satellite networks like Starlink, along with rival projects spearheaded by tech giants such as Amazon and aerospace companies like Boeing, operate with altitudes ranging from 300 to 1,200 miles above the Earth's surface. These projects represent ambitious commercial ventures aimed at extending broadband internet access to remote and underserved regions, effectively bridging the digital divide. Over the past decade, the Pentagon has increasingly turned to the commercial space sector for its satellite deployment needs. In this context, SpaceX, under the leadership of Elon Musk, has played a pivotal role. SpaceX's reusable launch vehicles have been employed to deploy highly classified defense satellites, underscoring the significance of commercial space partnerships and modern military operations. In a notable development, SpaceX has also revealed a new project it is calling Star Shield. It's important to note that this initiative is separate from Starlink and is primarily oriented towards addressing government's national security requirements. 
This announcement generated significant attention and even anxiety in Beijing, where researchers and military officials raised concerns that such initiatives could potentially undermine the confidentiality and secrecy surrounding China's military programs and activities in space. According to researchers from China's People's Liberation Army Space Engineering University, once the Starshield is completed, it will be tantamount to installing network surveillance cameras all over the world. At that time, military operations, including the launch of ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles, and fighter jets, will hardly escape the monitoring of the United States. SpaceX has not officially disclosed any information indicating that the project will possess the surveillance capabilities suggested by Chinese academics. According to its public-facing website, the project is primarily focused on providing Earth observation capabilities, communication services, and the capacity to host unspecified payloads on its satellites. Both SpaceX and the Chinese Embassy in Washington have refrained from providing comments on this matter. While there is currently no concrete evidence to support the notion that commercial networks like Starlink are being employed for advanced surveillance purposes as suggested by Chinese scholars, these systems have demonstrated their potential in military contexts. Services such as Starlink have the ability to offer affordable, portable, high-speed internet communication in areas where traditional infrastructure is lacking. Experts suggest that when combined with commercial satellite imagery services like Planet Labs and Maxar, Starlink can provide troops with near-instantaneous battlefield information. Troops in Ukraine, for instance, have reported using it to livestream drone feeds and enhance the precision of artillery fire, thereby conserving ammunition. It has also allowed soldiers to maintain contact with their friends and family. In a paper released in February, a research team associated with the PLA's Space Engineering University accused the United States of asserting control over low-orbit resources, including frequencies. They argued that the rapid deployment of Starlink is not just a commercial project, but also a part of a broader, competitive and strategic interest plan by the U.S. government. The researchers also outline potential methods to disable Starlink satellites in the event that they are used in future U.S. military operations. They acknowledge the difficulty of physically damaging the Starlink constellation, emphasizing the potential creation of a significant debris field resulting from an attack on the satellites. An individual based in Beijing familiar with the program suggested that this type of research is already at a relatively advanced stage. However, they highlighted that the main challenge lies in monitoring Starlink's operations, giving the constellation's vast size, making it challenging to ascertain its true purpose. A launch date for China's satellites hasn't been announced, so we don't know yet when we'll see these new objects in the sky. But keep an eye on the sky in the future. The next strange collection of lights you see may very well be from these satellites. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.